Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher on this beautiful day of 23rd of February 2017. Let's have a look at what is happening to gold price and what the future holds for gold. Actually not much has been happening to gold over the last week or two. The price has been oscillating between around 1220 and 1240. As you see on the chart in front of you, this is a daily chart. And uh, the blue line on the chart is the 20-day moving average. Actually, the point is not, it's not very clear to me where the short-term movements in gold are going to take us. On the one hand, if we look at the RSI, re the relative strength index at the bottom of the chart, it is close to overbought levels, which means there is a potential for both the RSI and gold price to move down. However, we are not really at the overbought levels. We are close to overbought levels, which means there is still a possibility for the price to go up. Additionally, that is, in my opinion, the only indicator that pointing to a potential decrease in the, in the gold price. On the other hand, there are a few indicators, a few factors that might point upwards. Firstly, we are now in an advancing phase of an intermediate cycle that started in December last year and during the advancing phase the general tendency is for the price to move upwards. Additionally the current price level is quite close to the 20-day moving average which means we are not really overstretched too high over the recent averages which also points to a potential of an increase in, in the gold price. Another indicator I would like to have a look at are the Fibonacci retracement levels and um, by now we have retraced almost 50 percent of the previous decline of the decline of the pre of the previous intermediate cycle and we have retraced this almost 50% in two legs. The first leg retraced 38% of the previous decline after which we pulled, pulled down a little bit because as we know the 38% Fibonacci retracement is often either a support or resistance level. Another potential resistance and support level is the 50% Fibonacci re retracement and we've been bumping against that level a couple of times and we are doing it the third time at the moment. So it is rather natural that price pulls back at this level and I expect price to push through this level I guess over the next few days. So those are all the clues that we can see on this chart. Let's have a look at what's happening to gold and see if there are any more clues there. Here's the dollar, price, dollar chart, daily dollar chart with the 20 day moving average as well. So I think we have topped recently in uh, early January in this inter intermediate cycle for US dollar and we are probably now in the declining phase of its intermediate cycle. However, of course, there are corrective rallies during this phase. During this phase. We are experiencing one at the moment and the relative strength index, although it is not overbought at the moment, it is close to those overbought levels and uh, this rally might, might be exhausted by now or it might not have may too many days to continue. So I expect dollar to to continue its decline during this declining phase of the intermediate cycle for another few weeks I guess. Again if we have a look at the Fibonacci retracement levels within this recent corrective rally we have already retraced 50% and it is a good resistance level as I mentioned 
and it's um, it's time for the dollar to turn down another thing that is worth looking at is this corrective rally in the dollar has been happening since the beginning of February so since the beginning of February dollar has been gaining in strength whereas at the same time gold has moderately increased in price so despite a stronger dollar gold has increased in price which means that at the point when dollar turns down there will be quite a good potential for gold to continue its climb upwards that is all I wanted to mention for today I hope this has been interesting for you and uh, this is not investment advice however I wish you luck